What's up guys? Just want to start this off real quick. This is the package I'll be unboxing. It's called um uh crap. Orms Return and it's one of the big like the bigger unboxing boxes things, you know what I'm talking about? And um this is actually I only have three more unboxings after this one and then I'll be done. So after that I'll uh I have a couple other plans and that'll be great. So also want to give a shout out to this kid named um Flamin flaming in some something like that uh he has some pokemon battles and uh he um he has like 30 subscribers or something like that 35 ish and um he also is big into the so tier which is like um like super original or something like that it's pretty cool um so yeah so check him out and i'm gonna this summer when i get my laptop I don't have it yet, but when I get it, um, I'm going to also be posting some Wi-Fi battles again. Like, I know I deleted them earlier, but I'm going to start only doing NU battles, which is never used. If you don't know what it is, and don't worry about it. And, yeah, so now on to the unboxing. I'm just going to cut out this video like this and just lay out all the cards and characters, save time, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. All right, guys, we have Brunak next, and I'm going to make this kind of quick and put some still shots towards the end. All right, so I'm pretty much just going to keep my um guy on brunette my camera on brunette just so i can read the card faster all right so i got a couple things to do so that's why i gotta edit it and all that stuff all right so here we go brunette he's got move it a basic side move a six range of one attack of four defense of eight he plays for um olar i mean utgar by the way which is the red team um he's a trial out of core unique hero mount ferocious huge eight um uh, he has a life of three, move of six, range of one, attack of four, defense of seven, and a worth 110 points. And this is his hittable zones. So everything but the sword. All right, now his ability is carry, uh, which is um, pretty much what you do is any unengaged, um, sm uh, friendly, small, or medium figure, like you choose one adjacent to him and then uh after you move brunak then you can place the figure next to him like adjacent to him um and then that's called carry the other one is blood hungry special attack and that's with range of one attack of four if brunak special i mean blood hungry special attack uh destroys a figure brunak may attack again with his blood hungry special attack brunak may continue attacking with his blood hungry special attack until he does not destroy a figure and um, Brunak never rolls for Molten Lava damage or Lava Field damage, and he um, does not have to stop in Molten Lava spaces. Next one is one of my favorites, actually, and is Charos, who plays for um, Olar, the green team. So, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, uh, especially how Atari887 or Brandon told me told me a lot about this guy. Um, wow, this guy's amazing. Um, all right, so listen. Basic side is move of six, range of one, attack of five, and defense of nine. For advanced side, he's got um he's a dragon, unique hero, king, violent, villiant or violent or something. Huge huge wow, let's fail. Huge nine, life of nine, move of five, range of one, attack of five, defense of five, and worth two hundred and ten points. Um and this is a hitable zones, everything. Um now his is ability. His abilities are Counter Strike, rolling defense dice from a normal attack from adjacent attacking figure. All exit shields count as unblockable hits. So that means, like, pretty much you have to get. Say you roll three attack and he has defensive. I mean, attack of. I mean, def, wow. The other guy has a three attack and he has a defensive five. Five, Charles does. If if he rolls a two and you roll a four, then you do two, two wounds to Charos. I mean, to the other guy. So that's pretty cool. Flying, which is, I'm not going to read the ability. Everybody knows what flying is. If you final guy is some guy that I kind of like. Uh, I always wanted this guy. Um, his name is Deathwalker8000. Uh, he's like the earlier form of Deathwalker9000, which is in the first master set. And I highly recommend getting that set if you haven't already. Um, okay, so he plays for Utgar. And um, a move of five, a basic side is move of five, range of seven, attack of four, and defense of eight. And let's see here. Um, Soulborg, Unique Hero, Deathwalker, Precise, and Large 7. Um, one life, which is kind of bad. Uh, move of 5, 
range of seven, attack of three, and defense of eight. Oh, well, if he has a defense of eight on advance, that's not bad at all. So that's I understand the one life part. And 130 points, hittable zone is everything. And his only ability is Rapid Fire Special Attack, which is range 7, attack of 3. If Deathwalker, Deathwalker's Rapid Fire Special Attack inflicts a wound, he may attack again with his Rapid Fire Special Attack. Deathwalker may continue attacking um, until his Rapid Fire does not attack, does not inflict a wound. So, he could take out whole squads. I really recommend this card. Alright, so, now for my uh, still picks and then recommendations. Next on our list, we have, um, Dunderquilla Vidar, my bad. <laughs> God, alright, I'm so tired right now, I just woke up. Alright, so, um, he's got a move of 6, range of 1, um, attack of 3, and defense of 7. And like I said, he plays for the Turquoise team, Vidar. Um, let's see, he is dog in, unique hero, hunter, tricky, large 4, which is, I don't he has a life of 4, move of 6, range of 1, attack of 3, and defense of 5, and worth 110 points. And this is his hittable zones. Everything, pretty much. Uh, crippling Gaze, f 15. Before moving, you may choose a clear figure within 5 sight, clear sight spaces of done. Roll the 20 side die. If you roll a 15 or higher, remove all order markers on the chosen army f figure's card. Or cards if your opponent has more than one card for that figure. Yeah, it's pretty cool. My next guy is this monster guy, <laughs> Subakna. Uh, one of my favorite guys, actually. I'm, um, plays for Udgar. It's the red team, and this is his things. Move of basic side, move of six, range of one, attack is seven, defense of eight. His uh, advanced size is Maro, unique hero, hive lord, tricky, huge twelve. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Um, uh. 5 life, move of 6, range of 1, attack of 7, and defense of 3, and has 160 points. Hittable zone is everything, but this little, like, sword kind of type thing. Um, uh, yeah, so his abilities are Hive Supremacy, which is, um, anytime you roll the 20 sided die for a Mara U or Winsu army card, you may add 1 to your attack dive. And flying, which I just went over, so, yeah. Guys, here's for my recommendations. I'll start off with this guy. Um, I, I, alright, so I highly recommend this guy if you're playing tomorrow. But, if you're using Tukuna, which is the, like, guy that can stomp on people in the, from the second master set, I wouldn't recommend him. But if you're not going to use him, I recommend actually this guy over Tukuna. Just because he can fly and the high supremacy thing is very, very, um, helpful. And, um, yeah, I just really think it's helpful. So, that's my recommendation. I say it's worth the points only if you're not using Tokuna, also. For the next guy, Charos, um, let's see. I, um, I like the character. I don't like how much it costs. Um, I, I personally think if you're going to use this guy, you're, you're not going to have that many characters. So that means you'll probably use like Savaris. I mean, everyone does if you're using Olar and um, maybe this guy and some other guy. That's about it. I don't really. I mean, I recommend them if you're playing a huge point army. But if you're only playing like 400 points, I don't recommend this guy. But I do like his abilities. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, for this guy, um, 110 points. That's not bad. There are better characters out there for um, those points, like that plays for Vidar. There's not that many that play for him, but I actually I'll say I recommend this guy. He's not bad. I like his ability a lot. You can like stop a stop a huge threat by just rolling a 15 or higher, and they can't move the rest of the turn. And uh, I mean it's like all their order markers. So if they had all three, you pretty much have a free turn right there, free round. So I kind of recommend this guy. Um, Again, kinda, I know that doesn't really make sense, but I kinda recommend them. Um, this guy, Brunak, I, um, I highly recommend this guy, um, if you're playing Udgar. H only 110 points, and the Lava Resistant is very helpful if you're playing a Lava Map. Blood Special, um, uh, Hungry is very helpful, you can keep attacking. And Carry is very, always, always, always very helpful. And he has a defensive 7, so I highly recommend this guy. 
and then the last guy is one of my favorites, um, Deathwalker 8000, and I'll, I'm just going to say right now, I recommend this guy more than any other guy out of these people, just because I know it's 130 points, but he has defense of 8, range of 7, um, and the special fire attack is just like Brunax, um, you can just keep attacking till they don't take wounds anymore, and with that kind of defense, if you put it on elevation, have another attack, and have that range, um, that's just amazing uh, I really like it so I highly recommend this guy and guys let me know if you enjoyed me doing my unboxing this way um, I'm thinking about doing it like this from now on just because it goes a little quicker and I can do my recommendations so let me know